Oh yeah, it's another glorious day here in the long drive, and you know what? The cats are happy. We have the van. You guys were like really super happy that I took this thing. So today we're gonna be finding parts to customize this thing. Uh, I'd like to maybe put a maybe a chair back there, some new wheels, uh, maybe some stuff for the cats. Oh wait a minute, that looks like a haunted house up there, dude. Okay, you know what? That we're probably gonna have to stop there. I hope I have enough ammo. Uh, for that. Also, there's a Fury. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's just get out the way. Let's try not to make this person mad. We know Fury drivers are kind of idiots here. Look, he's gonna run into the back. Oh my goodness, what is he doing? Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Also, there's another stop up here on the right, so maybe we'll go to that first. I am a little concerned about ammo. We know that Haunted House is gonna be loaded with the really, really tough mutants, and you know what? You guys can help me by hitting the thumbs up button uh, to give me more ammo. Wait, what if that... You know, actually, I wish that was a mod. What if that was a thing? Like, how many thumbs up buttons I get is how many rounds I get. You know, to be fair, we get about 3,000 thumbs up per episode. That would be a lot of rounds. I'd be a one happy person. Uh, what is this up here? Ooh, this might be one of those mini mart stops. Oh, yeah, this might actually have some ammo in it. All right, let's uh, head over here real quick. Which, by the way, like I said, comment down below what we should do with the van next. I got some ideas. Um... Yeah, this is like a magazine stand or something, isn't it? Does he have anything? Oh, there's a crate back there with the, like an oil can on it. I don't know if we should mess with this one. You know, maybe we could sneak into the mansion. Have we ever tried that? Maybe not attract all the mutants' attention in there? I think we're gonna have to do that. I don't think there's anything worth it in there. And if I try to kill that mutant, I'm likely gonna die. Uh, so maybe I can find some ammo, sneak in, get some ammo real quick, and then take the mutants out. Uh, this is gonna be tough, uh, now that we have the tough mutants and we're in hardcore mode. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, in the points of interest pack, which is the mod I used to get some extra stops, this could have been a junkyard, and I think it could have been maybe a diner? Uh, oh, what do we have up here? Okay, hold on, looking for mutants. Uh, should we just go into the front gate? Or, ooh, it'd be risky. We could sneak in from the graveside on the left side. I don't know, Maxwell, if I don't show back up, um, you can take the keys and attempt to drive. Actually, it might need to be Maxwell steering, and then maybe another one working the pedals, because they are rather short. Okay. So listen. I don't hear anything talking right now. Alright, uh, I got a little bit of ammo over here. Let's see. Hey, Maxwell, you're gonna have to move here. You move to the driver's seat, keep the car warmed up and ready to go. Uh, Daddy's got... I got a couple bullets here. Um, I've got the shotgun back here. There's no ammo in the AK there. I got one shell in the shotgun. I do have a gun on my back, which a lot of people have been saying, like, Komodo, you're not using the gun on your back. No, it, it literally doesn't have ammo right now, so that's, that's a thing. All right, we'll leave this in here, and let's grab this. Uh, I don't know if one shell's enough to take him out. Uh, I think I can take out at least one mutant. Uh-oh, I heard a cough. Oh no, there are mutants in here. All right, uh, let's do a little perimeter check. Let's see if we can locate where they're at. Okay, peek in the windows. Uh, that's the poopy room. Okay, nothing in there. There's the big hallway. A lot of times there's a mutant in that room there. Here's the kitchen. A lot of times there's a mutant in here. Oh, okay, there's mutant number one. Oh, he sees me. Okay, go this way. Go this way. Oh my goodness, they know how to open up the windows? Okay, I got it. Oh, I gotta waste my ammo here. Uh, no, okay. Nope, that's that's not a thing. Okay, reload. Uh, oh, this sucks. Oh my goodness, he still didn't die. Okay, I got one in the... No, I am afraid. Uh, oh. <laughs> I've got to use all my ammo, one mutant, and... Uh! Well, that took care of it, right? Okay, well, I think we have to go with the approach of... Let's go through the kitchen first. Uh, if I can make it to that first room, there's likely some ammo in there uh, for one of my guns. If not, there is another gun in there. What is happening up in there? I thought I saw some fli- Oh, it flickers whenever I walk. Uh, oh, look, another car back here. Uh, there's a trailer. We're not taking trailers. Komodo has no luck with trailers. Hold on, what's in here? Uh, that is alcohol. Uh, can be used to power- Is it every vehicle? I know somebody knows this. Like, can I use that for fuel for anything? Or is it, like, one certain engine? I'd be curious about that. All right. Tons of cleaners. Oh, buddy. I am freaking out a little bit. All right. Let's grab a flashlight. It's going to get dark here soon. I hear one walking around. I think it's above us. 
Hello. Okay, is anybody in here? Oh, this is clear. This is good. Okay, uh, let's get the light on in here. Uh, okay, let's close this. All right, we're going to use this flashlight to break open some of these crates. There's bound to be weapons and ammo. There's another really good spot. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Okay, there's a pistol. I mean, not a pistol, an AK. I'm stupid. How did I say pistol there? Uh, was there anything in that one? I see some bacon. Uh, okay, and we got one more over here. That was hats. All right, well, we do have enough to take out a mutant. I'm going to leave the shotgun in the hallway here. We'll come back for it. Uh, did I just take my hat off? I forgot I was wearing a hat. Okay, let's grab this. Okay. We got a little bit here. I don't see any more ammo. That might be... Was that cold bars? Hold on, something's reading a zero. I think it might be on my belt here. Okay, you know what? Let's keep moving. Okay. We need a mod for a, a flashlight attachment for the weapons. Like, I feel like that would be cool. Or maybe a two-hand mod where we can hold two things at once. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, let's get a... Oh my goodness! Where did he come from? Okay, Han, we took one out in ten bullets. That's good. Oh, I just unloaded it. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Didn't mean to do that on reload. I don't hear any others. We might have done it. Honestly, we took that one out really quick. Okay. Uh, ooh, downstairs. This could be bad. Okay, let's get our flashlight out. Um, yep, this is kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Okay, look around. Anything in there? Uh, that could have been a Maxwell cat. That's, uh, the other item that the Maxwell cat is, is the giraffe. Um, hello? <gasps> Ooh, look at that! Another gun! Okay. Well, at least the, uh, the game is blessing us with weapons. I mean, this is a good stop for stuff like this. Why is it stuck in the wall? Oh, come on, game! I need this thing! Come on! It's like the butt end of the gun is stuck in the stupid wall! It pulled this way? Oh, did it come out? No, it's like permanent- Well, that's annoying. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of their food down here. All right, we're good. Everything's fine. Oh, I gotta do my editor's favorite thing. Yep. Oh, and yep, just gonna relieve myself down here in the basement. Yep, that's a whole lot. Okay, we can start searching for some furniture and stuff in here. Ooh, I need water. Uh, they should have water in one of the rooms. I think there's a faucet. Uh, all right, so we got plenty of cleaning supplies, so we could really clean the van up. Uh, I need to find some more, like, good items. Hold on, is there a faucet in here? I always thought there was. Maybe it's upstairs that there's a faucet. Okay, we'll open up these crates here in a second. We need to clear out the rest of the house here. Uh, so let's go upstairs. Hello? Anybody here? I don't want any jump scares up here. I, I just want... Oh, man, it's so dark. I just want to see my mutant friends. Where are we at? Hello? Anybody in here? By the way, last time I tried to go up into the attic, I got stuck. So we're not going to do that. Uh, Wait. I could use the binocular trick and... Oh, what happened here? Alright, well, I don't think there's any more mutants. I'll go around the corner. But yeah, like I was saying, I used the binocular trick on the outside of the house uh, to get up because there's an open window, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, up there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that one's down. On, any others? Uh, one last room to check. That was the silent mutant. It didn't say a word. All right, maybe we should go to sleep up here. It's kind of weird sleeping up in the mutant's bed, but you know what? Uh, I'd like to have some light to be able to see. Oh, I can't sleep yet. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Why can't I not sleep right now? Oh, oh now it lets me to fall asleep. Uh, that was so random. Okay, well, we've survived another day. By the way, we're coming up on day 50, which I think somewhere in the recording, I might have skipped or missed a day. So we might be like a day further, but uh, we're getting close here. Like, we're meaning to survive 100 days in a long drive. Like, that's the ultimate goal. And look, there's a Jimmy up here. Nice. All right, so I would stick a bed in there, but I feel like a bed is a bit overkill. Uh, hold on, let's hit this. I gotta be careful hitting these. Uh, because sometimes they explode. Hold on, can I open these drawers? Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, oh, gas can. Oh, some gas. Okay, I mean, that's good. Um, do we want some books for the cats to read? You got some pottery. There's a basket up there. I'm looking for a chair. Like a comfy chair. Now, I do have to keep in mind, I don't have the little, like, attach anywhere mod uh, at the moment, but everything should be physics locked inside of the van. So, I mean, that was one of the main reasons you guys wanted me to take the van was like, oh, the cats will be safe and we can stick some nice stuff in there. We could take one of these. Uh, how does this feel on my butt cheeks? Is this, is this comfortable? Uh, I can't really tell. Um, you know what? We're going to take it anyway. Uh, I should probably open the front door here, but... <laughs> My goodness, I didn't think we were going to be able to clear this thing out, but we did a good job here. Okay, let's go uh, find some more stuff. 
Okay, broke open another uh, crate down here. It's the big tire for the Fury, which doesn't really do me any good. Is there any water in any of these? I, I need to find water. I, I realize it's like that's a thing right now. Like I don't really have much of. There are some good colors in here. There's a purple. I mean, I've always been kind of like a red guy, as you guys have seen here in the long drive. Oh, here we go, water. Also, there's a sink in here, so I can drink from it. Uh, there we go. I did not realize how low my health was. My goodness. We were almost near death there. Like, we probably should have died. If I would have kept going for another maybe 10 minutes, I actually think I would have died from dehydration in the game. That wouldn't have been good. All right, well, let's make sure we fill up our water meter. Uh, a health kit would be nice. Uh, I don't know if I've come across any of those yet. Oh, oh and I think we're full of water. Now I got to pee. Oh, I'm now peeing. You know, this is just weird. Let's just drop that. But yeah, I need to fill up a container here because we do have water. Uh, also, tons of cleaners. I'm going to pull the uh, the van around back here. That way we can get it all cleaned up. And uh, we can load our loot up here. Okay. I mean, the van is actually in... It's pretty clean. Uh, I think maybe the doors here can use a little bit of shine. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of real quick. Oh, yeah, this thing is going to be absolutely beautiful once we're done with it. There we go. That's shiny there. Hold on. Look back here. Bumper's pretty good. I mean, the wheels need an actual, like, scrubbing, which I do have some brushes. Uh, they'll be pretty close. Hold on. Check tires. You know, I didn't really find any tires in there. I, I suppose these would fit, right? These are about the same size. Or are they slightly bigger? Hold on. Let's mock this up real quick. No, this is the same size tire. So here, let's go ahead and take the wheel lock off. Let's put the new one on. This one's nice and shiny, or somewhat shiny. And then we'll put the little lock on here. Uh, that's one really big advantage about this vehicle is the whole fact that it's got the locks in it. Uh, that is really, really good. Like this one has hubcaps, so I think it helps the tires stay on. Uh, also, real quick, anybody know, is the van a front wheel or a rear wheel drive? I want to say it might be front, but I could be wrong on that. I guess it doesn't matter. If I have good tires all around, like, it's just going to be able to hang uh, no matter what. So let's put that one there. All right, so tires are pretty good. Probably need to clean. Oh, those tires are not bad there. I mean, this one could probably be replaced. It's a little, a little, I would say, worn out, but it's not too bad. Uh, I might try to spray it and wash it, see if I can clean it up a bit. Well, we shined the wheel up. It didn't really do anything else, though. Uh, let's go ahead and shine this one up, too. We are going to have, like, the cleanest van ever. This is going to look good. There we go. Clean up the grill. I didn't realize that was even dirty. Look at that. My goodness. It is beautiful. All right. Let's start loading up some stuff here. Uh, need to probably try to organize this. Uh, the one thing I did really like about the attach all mod was, like, I could actually attach guns to the side. Also, that gun might actually be stuck. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Hold on. We got to go up to the attic real quick. Okay, is it out the front? I, I want to say it's out the front here. There's a window. Uh, is it? Oh, it's up there. Is it open? Okay, it is open. Looks like there's one thing in front of it. Okay, here we go. So we just need to jump, 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 jump. Uh, don't want to die because of this. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, oh. On. Can we fit in here? Uh, oh, this is not the right spot. Hold on. Maybe it's around the top. Oh, here we go. My goodness, I forget they spawn stuff up here. Ooh, I need that container. Uh, that'll be good. I'm going to fill that up with water. What is in here? Uh, it is oil. Uh, we'll top up the engine oil. Still that down there. What about here? Okay, so no, that chimney actually does go down. I thought there was a window up here. Is there not an opening around this thing? I always thought there was an opening to the attic. Uh, I could be wrong. Oh, it's going to start raining on us. Uh, that chimney goes all the way down, I think, to the first floor. Okay, well, you know, it's not a big deal either way. Uh, I don't think we're really going to find much in there, but uh, we got what we need right now. I got a new chair. I guess we're going to stick the wooden one in there, and yeah, we'll be good. You know what? I almost forgot the loot spot right in front of the freaking uh, front door here. Hold on. Uh, what if we were to find another Maxwell? That's something I've been searching for. I haven't been able to find any of those as of recent. I'm, I'm actually kind of concerned. Uh, that was, once again, really nothing. There's an engine there, some purple, a couple hats. Uh, nothing really good. Folks, you know how close we were? We are at 0.2 liters. I did not realize that was a thing. All right, well, thankfully we found some fuel. My goodness. Okay, found a little bit more gas. Another 2. Uh, I think it was 5 or 2.6 liters. We're ready to go here. Uh, I've got a container full of water in there. We got our not-so-comfortable stool. We got Jimmy, all the weapons that I found. All right, we need to get back on the road. Rain stopped. It's, it's going to be a good day. Oh, I almost forgot this. 
Uh, I definitely need my... You know, it just did it again. I've seen that happen several times. Like, it goes from day to night, like, super quick. I don't know if it's something to do with my sleeping. I don't know. What do you think, Maxwell? Uh, Maxwell just looks confused. Okay, well, I guess we need to get on the road. Um, yeah, that's a thing. By the way, the sandstorm looks very eerie at night. Uh... <laughs> Why does that look like it's getting closer? You know, it's probably a good thing that we actually got out of, got out of here. I'm actually kind of curious. Would that sandstorm actually hit a stop? Like, could you imagine if you were in the haunted house that a sandstorm just appeared on top of you? Uh, I think that honestly would be kind of cool. All right, uh, let's see. What side of the poles at? I got to make sure I'm aimed the right way. Probably should go to sleep, but, you know, I I'm feeling pretty adventurous. I, I think we'll just continue to drive throughout the night here, uh, potentially, until I get scared by something or almost die. Uh, okay, poles on the right means we're going the right way. So here we go. Well, let's get back on the road So yeah, not a huge fan of the chair back there. I, I'd like to find something more comfy Is there like a, a, a recliner or something in the game? You know, even if we found a diner the diner has some good chairs in its stuff By the way, that is a bug. I haven't seen one of those in a hot minute uh, Those are always really cool vehicles not switching vehicles by the way. I'm, I'm pretty content with the van uh, We got the V8 in here. We got the turbo clean wheels clean van like, I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. I I'm pretty happy with my vehicle choice so far. I mean, if I were to switch vehicles, like, what vehicle do you think it would have to be for me to switch? Uh, I mean, that's that's what we were in last time. Uh, you have the tow truck version of that, and then you have the van. Like, this is the ultimate van because it's got the sliding door. By the way, is that a garage? My goodness, we are getting lucky here. Uh, these are normally pretty decent for loot. They normally are good for cars, too, but I'm not... Like, I have no plans to switch right now. I do see a mutant in there. This would be a good place to call it a night. Uh, yeah, a couple vehicles. Probably gonna have some fuel in here, which I do need a little bit of fuel. Uh, okay. Hold on, let's shine our light in here. Gotta get the mutants. Oh, we have... Oh, that was creepy. He come running out the back there. Okay. Let's just take care of him here. Oh my goodness, I think I put my gun in the back. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna pick our flavor here. I think uh, the 10 bullets should do. Oh my goodness, he's right here. Okay, wait, 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 wait. And yeah, buddy. Oh, we got it done in nine bullets that time. Nice. All right, put that back there. Should be no more mutants in here. Uh, we'll search it. Actually, no, let's wait for the day and then we'll search it out. Uh, I'd like to be able to see what I'm like trying to get here loot wise. Okay, brand new day. We got a brand new loot spot here. Hold on, grab our binoculars. That way we can cr actually, I think I'm gonna leave these in here. Maxwell, hold those. Uh, these, this little flashlight can break open stuff pretty easy. Hold on, we got fuel here. Uh, looks like, oh, a little bit, 1.2 liters. Hey, everything counts. I mean, especially when you have a V8 that eats fuel, but man, we are really efficient going across the desert uh, in this thing. You know, the V8 really does suit the van uh, quite nice because it is, I don't know. For some reason, it's like got really good handling. Okay, let's break some of the. Oh my goodness! I'm not sure structurally this building is uh, very sound right now. Like when I hit stuff, stuff goes flying. Let's try not to die to like a piece of wood. That would be awfully embarrassing. Also, I don't know what the heck I just did there. All right. Um. Let's see. There is a basket here. I've been waiting for one of these. Uh, there was one in the haunted house, but it was like way too high up. I probably could have gotten it down uh, by using the old binocular trick, but you know it's fine. Uh, we do need some storage here. Let's get that to the side. So I want to attach this to the side of the van like so. Uh, that did pretty good. I could probably layer that. Uh, this is the side that doesn't open up, so it'll probably be my primary storage side of the van. Or it could be where I stick my bacon. Uh, we need to put... Oh, like, why can't I eat? Am I full? Oh, I am definitely full of it right now. Uh, I need to go ahead and eat this. Uh, we're seasoning the bacon a little bit too. Yeah, you can see my life bar is actually... Or my health bar, I should say, has gone up. Uh, since eating, so let's go and eat some more. And there it goes. Also, now I'm thirsty. You guys got some water here? Oh, there's a little bit. Oh my goodness, it's nine liters in here. Oh, let's just drink this up. I got a full tank in the uh, in the car, but I don't want to use that right now. That's for like your desperate situations. Okay. Oh, there's some chocolate in here. I mean, there's uh, quite a bit of food. Uh, there's not a whole lot else in here. It's actually a little disappointing. I was really hoping for some gun and maybe some ammo. Uh oh, I hear a rabbit outside. What was that? Oh, that was cigarettes. Like, what am I gonna do with cigarettes? Uh, I'm I'm not that kind of person. I don't, I don't need those. Uh, there's a good tire in here. I'll give it that, and then we do have something here. What is this? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's worth it. That is a full... Oh, my goodness. Everything collapsed in here. Okay, I'm going to have to come back for that. I heard a rabbit out here. What happened to that? Look around. Are we clear? Okay, let's figure out which tire we need to replace here. That one's clean. That one's clean. It must be on this side. 
Uh, oh yeah, it's this one. Uh, the rim is good, but the tire itself could have a little more grip. Guess we could put it in the back for a spare. That's probably something I should be keeping. Because you guys have seen me lose tires during crashes. I do think the wheel locks, though, uh, help with when you crash. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was the cats. Uh, is that two? Wait, what is up with the multiple sand? Oh, sorry. I think I crushed a cat. It's fine. Uh, there are two sandstorms now. Why do I feel like we're getting stalked by sandstorms? A little weird. You know what I find funny? I had been searching for a sniper rifle for a long time. Like, there is a legit rifle that has a scope in it. It's a mod I have installed, and I have yet to find the scoped version. And I've had this mod installed for probably close to a month. All right, well, I'll search the rest of it out. Uh, nothing really too great in there. There's a couple food items I threw in the back. We got, we're full of water. I mean, we got our basic survival nece necessities. Would like to find a little bit of fuel, though, but we need to get moving here. We need to make some progress. Okay, looking ahead, there is a tower stop. Looks like we're going off to the left here, though. Probably won't actually mess with that one. It's a little far off the beaten path, but that, it does look relatively empty up here. I feel like we just got a cluster of stops, and yeah, that's been it. Also, I was mistaken. In one of the last episodes, I called what I called was a bunker because I was convinced that it was a bunker stop was actually a mine shaft. A lot of other people have reported finding those, but everybody has said there has been loot in their mine shaft. I had zero loot in mine. Like, I got <laughs> shafted, uh, uh, you know, mine shaft. But yeah, I, it was like one of those things where I was like, how did I not have anything? Now I'm actually genuinely curious to find another one, though. So I need to be on the lookout for rocks that look a little odd. Uh, there's a little gas station up here. But yeah, there's rocks that have a hole uh, where the opening is. I need to find another one of those. It's actually bugging me. And then somebody did say they saw one once that I didn't notice on video, which really annoyed me because I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, how in the heck do I miss stuff like that? Not going to lie, I kind of zinned out for the past, like, five or ten minutes. I I'm just enjoying just driving right now. Uh, this is, like, the kind of style of biome that I like. It's not too crazy with the mountains, but it's not completely flat. Uh, you got a nice curving road up here. I mean, it's just... I'm, I'm having fun right now. Oh, there's a cop. Uh, by the way, what is he doing? Why is he driving like that? He just looks like he's, like, moving the wheel back and forth. Doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to hit a pole, isn't he? Oh, come on. There's got to be a rock or something in here. I love watching the AI crash. It's like one of my favorite pastimes. Uh, speak. Whoa, what is that up there? Okay, we got another stop coming up. Uh, it's been empty for a little bit. We had a small, like, little... I think it was a bus stop. I thought it was a gas station, but I think it was actually a bus stop back there. Not worth really stopping in. But we do have something up here. It looks like we're climbing up. So maybe we're going back into a mountain region. I was really hoping this cop was going to eat it. I uh, love watching the AI just fly through the sky. It's really entertaining on mountains when they spawn and shoot up about two or 300 feet up in the air. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to, unfortunately, follow this cop. I need to figure out... Oh, this is normally a decent stop for loot. Uh, let's pull over here. I'm looking for a comfy chair. That's going to be my like my quest right now. Is he on top of the... Why is he on top of the building? Well, that's a heck of a stop. Hey, buddy, I uh, just came here. Uh, maybe try to rescue a cat or something. There's, uh, nope, hold on. Open that up. Nope, get out. Oh, my vehicle just started back up. No, we're fine. Hey, buddy, uh, you got any cats in there? There we go. I'm getting a little bit more efficient. Headshots are really good on those. Uh, also, we're in a pretty good spot to just kind of look around. I need to get my binoculars from the car. Uh, there's several stops. Maybe we can find another one's mine shafts. I That is like one of my... <gasps> You gotta be kidding me. We found a Maxwell. Oh, so we found a comfy chair. That chair's actually got a cushion on it. All right, welcome to the family. I don't know what we're gonna name this one. I mean, we have like four million of them in there. I think we have one, of course, Maxwell. I think we named one Joe. Um, Jimmy's are just Jimmy's. Hold on, we're gonna take this out. Bye, loser. We don't want that uncomfortable chair. We have a nice comfy chair over here. Also, there's some other, wait, you don't think there's any more Maxwells? Oh, there's a weapon back there too. Uh, any more Maxwells in this stop? Uh, come on. I mean, there was one here. Could there be multiple? Up, uh, up. Uh, oh, there's a. Oh, it's gas. It's like five liters. That's good. Hold on, looking here. I uh, got one more box to open. Maxwell, no radiator. Uh, we can fill up on water in here. We got a new chair. I mean, this is the chair I was wanting. At least something similar to this. I don't know. There might still be a recliner somewhere that I want, but you know, this this will definitely do. Now we're setting in style. Oh, let's grab our binoculars real quick. 
I want to see if we uh, see any mine shafts around here. Like those, I would go out of my way for. Uh, all right, look down this way. Uh, look for weird looking rocks. There's definitely, there's a stop right there. That's just an old house. Uh, looking around. We see anything else? I mean, to be fair, I have like completed my objective for the episode. We've customized the van, finished fixing it up. Uh, it really is in good shape. House back there. I don't really want to look behind me too much because, yeah, we've already driven that road back there. I uh, really need to be looking ahead. There's a tower out there. That is a plane, I believe. Or it could be the junkyard. At Maybe it's just at an angle. Uh, another tower. Yeah, it's looking pretty generic out here right now. Not seeing a whole lot that I want to stop at. Uh, I need to just keep an eye on the rocks here. Oh, there's a rock there. No, that doesn't look like it. It's kind of like a rounded off rock. It's just like a single one. And a lot of times you'll see the foundation like poking out a little bit out of the ground. Yeah, I don't see anything. But, I mean, look at the progress that we've made. We got another Maxwell. We got a chair. We uh, fought off a mansion full of mutants. And we got rid of this uncomfortable pile of poo here. And we killed a mutant. We're not carrying any more of those. Those cause havoc. But yeah, let me know what we should do next. And we'll see you guys next time in the long drive.